I'm Pastor Mark Buto, and this is another episode of Higher Things, Bible 101. One of the challenges in the early church was what to do with the Gentiles. Were they sort of second-class citizens because they didn't come out of the Jewish heritage and tradition? After all, the law of Moses had been given through the Jewish people. Even the Savior himself had been born through the Jewish line, in, in the direct bloodline from Abraham. So what about the Gentiles? Were they all the way in, or were they sort of second-class citizens in the church? The story of Cornelius the centurion, who was a convert to Judaism, and in other words, he was a Gentile, but he had come to know the true God through the Jewish faith and was a supporter of the Jewish religion, and, and that was the he went to synagogue, and that's what he did. But was the gospel that Jesus preached, that Jesus accomplished, was that for Cornelius too? That question, Peter learns the answer to. So Cornelius, being a Gentile and yet a devout uh, convert to the Jewish faith, the Lord sent him an angel who said to him, Cornelius, listen, the Lord has heard your prayers and he wants you to know the truth. He wants you to know the good news. So here's your instructions. You need to send a messenger over to the town of Joppa, which was not too far away, and ask for a guy called Simon Peter. So that's what Cornelius did. He sent messengers looking for the apostle Peter. Meanwhile, over in Joppa, Peter was up on the roof of the house where he was staying, and he was praying. And as he was praying, he saw a vision. And the vision was a sheet being let down from heaven that was filled with all sorts of animals. And not just the clean animals that the Jewish people ate, but a lot of unclean animals. For example, pork. And the voice of the Lord came to Peter. He said, Rise, Peter, kill and eat. Eat these animals. And Peter says, No way, Lord. I have never eaten anything unclean. I'm a, I'm a good follower of the law of Moses. And the Lord said, Peter, don't call anything unclean that the Lord has called clean. And three times this happened. And what the Lord is teaching Peter is that if the Lord says that something is clean, it's clean. Even if the law had previously called it unclean. And this isn't simply a, me a message about eating particular animals. It's about to occur to Peter what this is all about when the messengers from Cornelius arrive. So Peter travels to where Cornelius is, and Cornelius says, okay, you're Simon Peter. Now here, let me tell you what happened. I had this vision, the Lord sent the angel, and he said, go and find Simon Peter. So I sent for you, and here you are, and I've gathered all these people together, and now we're ready to listen to what you have to say. So Peter preaches, and he says, you know what? God doesn't show any partiality. He doesn't love Jews more than Gentiles or think that one of them is more special than the other. Rather, he sent his son, who was killed and who rose the third day. He sent his son for everyone. The Savior came for all people, for Jews and Gentiles alike. This salvation is for all people. P Peter realized that through the preaching of the gospel, both Jews and Gentiles were made clean by the Holy Spirit working through the Word. Then the Holy Spirit fell upon the people. They began to speak in other languages, and God was glorified as even these Gentiles were brought to faith and believed in Jesus. And Peter says, could we withhold water from these people so that they should not be baptized? Let's get all these people baptized. And so they were baptized, and they, Peter stayed with them for a few days and continued to teach them the word of God. Yes, even the Gentiles heard this good news of Jesus, Savior from their sins. What's interesting to note about this is that when the Lord appeared to Cornelius in the vision, he doesn't tell him the good news of Jesus. Even though he appears directly through this angel in this vision, the Lord says, go and send for the preacher, that is for Simon Peter. So we see once again that the Lord is not going to work any way to bring faith and salvation to people except through the word and baptism as it is preached and given by the men that he has ordained to do that. The book of Acts continues to roll along and we see the importance of preachers, the importance of pastors, those whom the Lord calls to bring us the good news of the repentance and forgiveness of sins that we have in Jesus' name, of the washing and saving gift of holy baptism. When those are administered by the Lord's man, we can be certain that that salvation is for us. Not only for the Jews of Peter's day, not only for the Gentiles of Peter's day, but for all who have heard the word, who have been baptized into Jesus. That good news is for them, for us.
I'm Pastor Mark Buto, and this has been another episode of Higher Things Bible 101.